Hi everyone, so we got a box sent to us in the post from Home Tester Club and um, we got chosen to trial the Tefal Ultra Glive Anti Calc, Calc Plus Quick and Efficient Iron <laughs> to me of a mouthful. Um, so we just wanted to share with you the unboxing of it so you can see what it's like. Um, we live in a hard water area so this is apparently really good for our type of water because we do get quite a lot of um, calcium deposits and build up in the kettles and stuff like that so it can really sort of ruin our ele electronics that way so this hopefully should help in that respect so to show you so this is the box this is what we got um i say it's a tfal which is, is a good um company um so looking on here it's um 2800 watts um it says it's efficient ironing and it's got a good steam boost on it um so that's what it looks like on the side so it's got um long lasting steam performance and a good glide on it apparently so it's easier to iron um and then that's that side so then on the top it's got a few more details on there um looks like it's got some sort of I'm not sure. Is that some sort of guarantee or something to repair it for 10 years? I don't know. I'll have to look at the leaflet. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's quite good. It says it also does vertical steaming as well, and it's got an auto off function, so that's quite good. So, what I'll do is I'll just have a look, see what it's like inside. So, this is how it comes packaged. So it's got some little protectors and stuff like that in it. Um, so I'll take that out. Oh, that protects your plug. And we've got a couple of leaflets and, and your guarantee. Um, so that's just how to set it all off and what to do with it. So that's that. And safety things to do first. And then we've got the iron. Oh, gosh. I don't know if that's just stuck or if it's a bit heavy. I'll move that there. Away. So this is the iron itself. Just move that out of the way a little bit so you can see it. So it's all packaged up in its bag. It is actually quite a heavy iron. Not too bad though, but it is quite weighty, so that's to bear in mind if you if you maybe not got the strength to be lifting an iron this size around. Um got quite a cool plate on it actually. Bit different, not seen one like that before. Some aerodurium air glide or something it's called. Obviously, lots of holes for the steam. Um, so that's it says calc collector, so that must be for the calcium. Um, just chuck that away. So it's got that looks like your spray function on there, on button, I guess, and then your different types of steam. I think you can do there. There's your fill-in area up here, I think, and then there's your little square bit. And then it's got your dial in there. Oh, it has options for different temperatures. It's quite handy actually because it says there's a maximum and a minimum, so it's got no steam there on one side. If I turn that, just have a look at it. And then it's got delicate ironing. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, wool, so eco. And a cotton function there, so that's quite good. So you can adjust it to your different types of um, materials that you're doing. So that's quite good. Um, yeah, so quite a decent sized cord, I think. And it's got a little um, clip on it as well. So I guess that's if you want to clip it to stuff. So that looks quite decent. Quite robust cord as well, actually. So that's good. So yeah, so what we'll do is um, we'll go through the leaflet properly. Um, and I'll have a look and see how to, so I think you must, you'll you probably have to, you know, get it heated up and squirt some steam out, etc. before you, you use it, I guess, because that's usually what happens. Oh, there's the calc collector under there, so that, that must be what you take out. So that's that bit there. Ah, oh, yeah, so... That's obviously to collect the calcium deposits and things. So um, 
it doesn't ruin your your iron and then you wash i think let's have a look i think you just wash it out um it says like three times a year or 12 times a year or something like that. I don't know. I'll go through it properly. But um, what I'll do is I'll run it through first, get it going. And then um, I'll see how it fares testing it out on some actual ironing. So it filled the iron up and then I put it onto cotton setting because I'm going to do a cotton shirt just to see how it goes. Um, the iron itself actually heated up pretty fast it was really quick actually um i had a quick play with some of the buttons to see what they did because the instructions aren't really very clear they're all like picture instructions they don't have any like writing on them to tell you what to do so it's just sort of taking your time to find your way around all the images just to see what you're supposed to be doing so it's it's a tiny bit confusing but it you know you get there in the end but so this is that again the iron um they say it's quite heavy. It's not that much heavier with the water in, to be fair, because there's not that much in. As the max line there, and you open this little bit here and then fill it up to, to there. Um, you've got like um, your squirting button there so you can get your creases out. You can turn it on to the steam option there. And then there's a boost option underneath here on the white button. Um, the It took me a second to realise, but this is just the... A button to set a light button to say that it's on but there is actually a button that's under here that tells you it goes off once it's heated up um so that was quite good it's got two separate light switches for that so i'm just gonna have a go and see how it goes just simply ironing with it because it's supposed to have like a smooth glide um hang on i have turned on the things so i'll turn that off actually a second because that might help well i did have a bit of steam on there just the natural sort of steam button and it's works really well um without um it does need a help with the steam because i mean this is a bit of a stubborn shirt to get creases out to be honest but you can give it a squirt to get rid of the the deeper ones um turn on the steam and you can press it with a a steam boost so the steam boost um is like It has a decent bit, a bit of steam to it. Not entirely sure what the other button does yet. I've not figured that out, but we'll we'll try in a sec. So, I mean, as it's going at the moment, it seems to be. I mean, it does go over the clothes really smoothly. It is getting rid of a lot of the creases. Just give it a boost because there's a bit of a, a crease there. Now, the extra stubborn creases are obviously always difficult to get out. So this one, I guess, is no exception. But yeah, I must say, it's doing pretty well. Um, pretty quick let's have a look on a back bit because these are always uh, good creases so okay so I'm wondering if this button here because there's three options and I mean like I say the booklet isn't actually very clear what that does so this um, is the steam that's on all the time this is when it's turned off and I think this, because you can't actually click it across like you can for that one, you have to actually have to hold it. So I'm thinking that when you're ironing, if you want a bit of a steam to come on, but you don't want it on all the time, you can hold it and then the steam starts coming out. So I think that's what that does. Um, only thing I find difficult about that, if that is actually <laughs> what it's meant for, is that I am actually pressing this button by accident just because it's quite big. Um, but yeah, I might be doing it wrong, so... Just let me know if I am, because I'm not really sure. But apart from that, I mean, it's going over really well. It's quite quick at doing what it needs to do. I've actually got it set to the cotton setting, so it's specifically for this type of clothes. Um, yeah, so it's, it's working quite well. So I thought I'd test it out and see um, what it's like because it says it's got an upright steam. Obviously this is really creased so um, it's not going to make a huge difference. But I just thought I'd see how it looks, if it does anything at all. Um, so I'm just going to try it um, with this and then hopefully it'll... 
I'm going to imagine this is going to be for delicate steaming, probably for getting rid of bacteria, etc. If you can steam clean some clothes but because you can't iron them, so it probably isn't appropriate for this at all, but I'm going to try it anyway. It does blast out a fair whack of steam, and to be honest with you, I mean, it's not... It's not going to do great deals, is it, because it's that. But it has actually knocked some of the creases out. So I can imagine if it was, like, something that wasn't um, really, really creased like this, if it was, sort of like, a delicate fabric you're not supposed to iron or something like that, or you just wanted to freshen something up with the steam cleaning, you could probably get rid of a few of the creases and things, like, something like that. So, yeah, not bad. So, in conclusion, I'm really pleased with how this irons performed um it really did work well on the stubborn creases on the shirt um it's come out really good actually afterwards um it did glide over the fabric really easy i did like the um the coating on the bottom it did make it a lot easier like i said it is a little bit on the heavier side i mean it's not bad it's just a, you know if if you're not used to that sort of thing then it might not be the best thing for you but it is good. I mean, if you've got a ton of laundry to get through and you need to get your, your ironing done, it will probably get through the ironing pretty fast. So that's good. Um, I can see that the upright steaming function will probably be quite good for lesser creased fabrics and probably a little bit of antibacterial cleaning, maybe. That's quite good. Um, or freshen up a garment or something. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm really pleased with it. I like how it looks. It works really well. Um, heated up really fast. Nice long cable as well. So yeah, all in all, um, I'd recommend this. Um, so yeah, so if you like this video, make sure um, you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Do let me know if there's anything on this, like I wasn't sure of some of the buttons and things because they're not exactly clear in the instructions. If you know what they are, do let me know. Uh, but yeah, so thanks Home Tester Club for sending us out this to try and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.